Remove the tag and plastic wrap from the end of the door roll. Check the axle length and cut to size if the side room is limited. Before cutting, you should make sure the floating axle is free and centered. The center can be found by rotating the axle a quarter turn in either direction and then releasing. With the center found, make a clear mark on the axle against the hub. You will need this for future reference. Ensure the door is the correct way round. The door should roll down from the front of the opening. Lift the door onto the brackets. The method for lifting a door onto its brackets is very important for safety purposes. Our installer is using rope slings, but there are a number of suitable methods. Ensure that you use an approved lifting method. Loosely fit the U-bolt, saddles, washers and nuts to the brackets. Center the door with the opening while ensuring that the floating axle is also centered with the door. You can do this by lining up the previous marks you made with the hub and then lifting both the axle and the door together until it is centered with the opening. Rotate the curtain and axle so that the bottom rail of the door is positioned as shown at the three o'clock position. Push the axle forward in the slots toward the opening and tighten the nuts firmly without over tightening to a torque of 10 newton meters or 6.6 .6 foot pounds. Rotate the door one and a half turns in a forward direction to apply tension. Hold the door firmly and cut the plastic wrap along the bottom rail, taking care not to damage the door surface or weather seal. Pull the curtain down slowly, carefully position the chock, taking care not to damage the door surface. We have used a small piece of cardboard from the door packaging. The chock will help hold the door until the guides and stops are fitted. Now trim the weather seal along the bottom door rail. To attach the metal stops to the bottom rail of the door, hook the stop behind the lip in the rail. Secure from underneath the rail with the screws supplied. Now it's time to fit the handle. Fit the handle to the outside of the door using the screws, nuts and washers provided. Before you fix the guides, you should check that the curtain overlaps equally on both sides. If it doesn't, adjust as required. Slide half of the number of guide clips into each guide. Position the bottom clip 200 mils from the floor with the rest evenly spaced along the guide. To prevent the clips from sliding down the guide, Temporarily secure them with adhesive tape. Position one guide over the edge of the door curtain. Mark and drill the top fixed guide clip and secure using a 40 by 8 mil coach screw and washer, allowing 3 mils clearance between the inside of the guide and the plastic roller guide. Ensure the guide is plumb, then drill and fix the remaining clips.
reposition the guides as necessary to allow smooth and even operation with three mils clearance throughout. If you are securing to uneven brickwork, packers may be required behind the clips to prevent them twisting out of square. You must also ensure the clips are positioned on secure bricks. Ensure door curtains enter guide smoothly. Mark the position of the locking bars onto the guides. Drill and file out a slot no longer than 25 mil, no wider than 10 mil. Ensure the top of the slot remains in line with the top of the locking bar. Make sure the guide surface is clean and dry. Wipe the guide with a clean rag. Check that the movement of the locking bar is free. Peel off the lining from the lock bar cover and position over the hole. The fitting of lock bar covers is important to prevent possible finger entrapment, particularly important when the door is fitted with an automatic garage door opener. If the door is hard to operate in any direction, check that the door is not jamming in the guides. You can check the guide clearances. Check that the guides are plumb. Check that the guide surfaces are clean and free from oil. Check that the locking bars are the correct length. Check that the weather seal is the correct length. If the door is jamming in one direction, this means the spring tension requires adjustment. If the door is hard to lift, but tends to drop, then increase the spring tension. If the door is hard to close but tends to rise, then decrease the spring tension. If the door rolls up crooked, then there are three things you should check. One, check that the brackets are level. Two, check that the guides are plumb. And three, check that the axle is centralized. With the door rolled up, tie two ropes around the door roll, approximately 300 mils from each end, as a safety precaution. With a man at each end of the door, hold the axle firmly with a large pipe wrench at least 450 mil long. Loosen the U-bolt nuts at both ends and keep a firm grip on the wrench. Rotate the axle in the required direction. Retighten the U-bolts before releasing the pipe wrench. Test and repeat if further adjustment is necessary.